now we can do an experiment of fiber optic communication on digital link that means we are going to set up a digital link by using this sign tag 2501a so first of all before doing the experiment we should make sure that this switched faults are in off position now it is in the off position and also the power supply should be off and then we can do the connections and the connections are set up by using the patch code first of all we will connect the function generator output to emitter circuit input so there is a patch code and we will connect the output from the function generator to emitter circuit input so that here we are setting up a digit we are setting a digital link that is why we are taking the square wave input so now that square wave input will come to this emitter circuit next from the output of the emitter circuit before that we have to short this a and b terminals of emitter circuit by using the patch code next we will connect the fiber optic cable of half meter between the emitter circuit and detector circuit so that this fiber optic cable act as the channel between the transmitter and receiver so this is the connection here we are taking the fiber optic cable from the emitter circuit output to the detector circuit input so this cable act as the channel optical fiber channel next from the detector circuit output we will connect a patch code to comparator circuit input this is a comparator circuit and we will connect the patch code from emitter circuit output to comparator input also we have to short the a and b terminals of the a and b terminals of the detector circuit actually detector circuit is doing what is doing is here that in the emitter circuit here we are giving an electrical signal from the function generator to the emitter circuit so this emitter circuit converts this electrical signal into light signal so in the fiber optical communication system we are transmitting the light signal so we have to convert the electrical signal into light signal and emitter circuit make that conversion from the electrical signal to the light signal and that light signal will be transmitted through this optical fiber cable and at the receiver side that light signal will be dictated by the detector circuit and it will be converted into suitable electrical signal so after the comparator we will take the output of the comparator see we will make the connection we, we have to take the output from the comparator circuit to cro so that we will connect a probe in the cro and we will make a connection here that the ground point of the CRO will be see here is the CRO cable ground will be connected to the ground of this sign tag 2501 here is the ground connection and also the in order to see the output in the CRO we will connect the comparator output to this probe so this is the connection diagram you can see this is all about the connection diagram you can see it clearly so first function generator to this emitter circuit and emitter circuit to detector circuit and detector circuit to comparator and comparator to CRO and the CRO ground will be connected to the ground of the sign tag 2501 also we have to short emitter circuit A and B terminals detector circuit A and B terminals the, up to this point it act as a transmitter side and this point it act as a receiver side so next we can turn on the and also we will, we should make sure that switched faults are in the off position also we are setting the it in the digital link so we have to put the sw1 switch to digital position see first it, it is in the digital position itself that means the toggle switch should point to the digital so it will select the digital link so now it is a time to time it is a time to turn on the power supply so once the power is on a light will shown here it is a yellow light so it starts functioning next we can see the output in the cro you can see this is the output 
that is obtained from the comparator circuit. But we, that means here we are transmitting a square wave signal from the function generator and that square wave will be transmitted through this optical fiber cable and it will be displayed on this CRO. Before that we have to make sure um, the voltage levels of the input and voltage levels of the output. So we will see the waveform in detail. Next we will see the voltage levels of input. For that we are connecting the CRO probe to input of this function generator. See this is a function generator and we will make a connection um, to this function generator uh, to the CRO. So the amplitude of the input is you can see here there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 point and here the voltage level is 1 that is 4 point 6 is the input level voltage. So you can draw the input as like this. See input is 4.6 volt and time, time period is 1 millisecond. Time period you can obtain from here see. This is it time division this is one that is for one wave that is from here to here it points to one millisecond that means the value of one division is one millisecond so a single square wave time period is one millisecond so you can draw the output waveform like this that is input function generator signal amplitude value is 4.6 and time period is one millisecond. See, next we can see the emitter's output. For that we are making the connection to output of the emitter. So now the CRO cable is connected to emitter output. You can see the output in the CRO. So you can see there is an offset in the output. See, this is the ground. From the ground, ground is here 1, 1, 2, 3. Here the output waveform comes. So output amplitude is there is an offset of 7 volt and also the output amplitude is 3, 3 volt here from the time division. Time division is voltage division is 2 and time is 1 millisecond. So you can draw the output waveform like this. There is an offset of 7 volt and the emitter output is 10 volt from 7 to 10. And the time period is the same that is 1 millisecond. Next we can see detector circuit output. So we will make the connection there and in the detector circuit you can see the output is like this. See this is the ground and from the ground the total division is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 point, 4 point 6. That means but here you can see the voltage is 2 that means 9.2 volt will be there. So you can draw the output as 9.2 volt and time period is 1 millisecond itself. See there is no change in the time period. So time period is 1 millisecond that means a complete square wave has got a time period of 1 millisecond and the amplitude is 2 into 4.6 that is equal to 9.2. Next you can see the output from the comparator so you will make the connection from the output of the comparator and you can see the comparator output is this here the ground line is this and you can see the output is of 1 2 2 point 1 division will be there and it has got a value 2 volt so 4.6 is the output value 4.6 volt is the output value so there is an offset of there is a small offset of 0.2 volt here you can see so you can draw the output diagram like this that is 0.2 offset and output voltage is 4.6 and time period is 1 millisecond itself. So this is the optical fiber digital link output and you can see we have we, we have transmitted the input signal of amplitude 4.6 and you will get at the output of the comparator as the 4.6 itself but there is an offset of 0.2 volt that means that there is a small reduction in the output else um, the optical fiber cable is completely transmitting this input signal to the output signal so this is the setting up of a digital link and here we are utilizing 
the square wave input for setting the digital link and you should make sure that you should put this toggle switch in the digital link mode and also this switch to false should be in the off position so that's all about this digital link setup next we will see another experiment thank you